Right, so in today's video, we're going to talk about slicing. The reason why you have not killed it once and for all is going to become really apparent. Let's get stuck into it. So first of all, what is happening for you to slice the golf ball is you are hitting the golf ball with an open face. Now this might mean when you hit the golf ball at the point of contact, the club face is open, which for a right-handed golfer means it shoots off to the right-hand side, or there's a possibility that you're swinging so far across it that it might start pretty straight or even slightly left, and it still ends up curving off towards the right-hand side. It's an annoying problem, and there are times where you might do something like slightly miss hit it, where it kind of looks like it goes pretty straight. But if you keep having those habits of an open face, that is always going to come back to hitting a slice, which is never going to give you the confidence. So the fix to the slice is actually pretty simple. You need to do two things. The first one is arm rotation. Okay, so what I need to do is I basically just need to do this motion here. And as you can see, what I'm doing is I am rolling my arm. Okay, so as I roll my arm, it has an effect where it closes the club face. However, when we're swinging um, in the golf posture, if I just introduce the arm roll, can you see the effect it has on the club? It sends the club over in this sort of direction. So what we have to do is we have to kind of do two things. We have to feel like we are guiding the handle of the club, or if you like the grip, to the right of the target, while simultaneously rolling the club face, okay? Now, if I was to swing this way, you can see, this is kind of, if I just roll, this happens, okay? So what we need to do is I need to guide the handle to the right towards my target whilst I simultaneously close the face. Now, I would strongly suggest you practice that. There are lots of greats that talk about that type of feeling of hands ahead of the ball and swinging the hands nice and high. That's what you need to do. You're not gonna fix the slice if you are somebody who is pulling down on the club and leaving that face open. So we need to roll the arm, but we also need to guide the handle more towards the right as we're simultaneously doing it. Now, understandably, there'll be lots of you that will go, well, I'm just going to hit it miles off there, or I'm going to hook the golf ball. I understand that. And that's why you also need to understand a really key component in the golf swing, which is rotation. So if I'm trying to swing the handle of the club to the right of my target, while simultaneously feeling like I'm closing the face, then I also need to keep my body turning. See, as I allow my body to keep rotating, it brings the club around to the side of my body, like so. Okay, so as I'm turning, you can see the way my feeling is that my, the handle is going this way. The reason why the handle doesn't literally go over there and it goes this way is because of my rotation. So understanding that you need to rotate your body whilst getting the feeling of the handle moving to the right is going to make a massive difference. Golf is complex, unfortunately, but like I say to all my students, it doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be better. Do this drill to make it a little more simple. What I've got on the ground here is a couple of clubs, and actually this drill was inspired by one of my students who came up with this sort of exercise themselves, and I'm sure they've obviously seen it elsewhere. But the idea is that we've got one alignment stick which is aiming well to the left of the target, we've got another alignment stick which is aiming way to the right of the target. And that's just to try and to really kind of encourage those sort of feelings of as I start the downswing my hands are trying to move this way so can you see the way the club shaft would be parallel towards the club that's on the floor there as I turn my body this way and it's the blend of both of those feelings as I'm demonstrating here which again are going to feel really peculiar but as I hopefully demonstrate an impact position now you can almost see the way this is what we see with all the good ball strikers and this is how you're going to get into these sort of feelings so if you are somebody who is slicing and you can't stop slicing that basically means that you have not fundamentally changed how the handle is moving if the handle keeps moving too much this way the club goes out you're always going to hit it with an open face you have to try and feel like the handle is moving more this way as you turn which is then going to give you the chance of closing the face therefore producing things like draws or at least not giving you that horrible sort of slicing motion I would suggest practicing like this. I mean, the student of mine did it. He literally stood there like so with his feet nice and open, looked down towards the target as he kind of got this sense of moving this way. Like I say, it's going to change visually how you see things, but that's a good thing. And that's how you're going to end up sort of getting that notion of dropping the shoulder down by copying this type of motion. Good. Continue to work on it. It is a drill that will make a massive difference to how you hit the golf ball and it will change probably how you see the golf swing. I'll catch up with you guys again really soon.